Okay, so here we are and we're going to be taking a look at the first of a selection of ships from Gaia Sun's Shipwrights blog. The link will be in the description. This one here is a one-to-one -one scale replica of the Defiant class from Star Trek. I think it's Deep Space Nine. Yeah. Um, and yeah, basically, as you can Whoa. see, there's quite a bit of detail. He's got the colours right and from a distance I think it looks... Pretty spot on. So let's take a closer look inside. And today I've got Chaos Surveyor and Ethior with me. Hello. And we're going to have a look around. So where's the door, guys? Did you find it? At the it's bottom. Big, big, big middle. Big thing. Yeah, yeah. Middle. All right, I'm going to park the ship here. There's also one here and one there. There, if I can oh, get so it. there's like, doors everywhere. All right, let's find out what's going on from in here then. Okay, there's a ramp up here. At least a little door. A lot of cargo, which is pretty nifty. I like that. <clears throat> Overlooking the hangar bay. That's pretty sweet. Got a gravity block in here. I'll wait for you to catch up. I'm just looking at, there's some stairs. Which way did you go? You went over this way. Yeah, looks like yeah, a new round. All right. Yeah. Oh, it's wow. not a bad ship. So we've got a... Uh, yeah, okay, I see what he's done there. He's built it into the walls. Like a compact reactor with shields and thrusters interspersed. Can we orient this I thing? I love the hangar. Look at this hangar. It's great. I love it. It's brilliant. You've got gravity active, I hope. I have now. We're not... I don't move the ship, to... though. Oh, well, I'm just going to oh. orient it. No, because so there's... Well, you can... Alright, try it. We'll see what happens. Oh, my ship. My ship. <laughs> <laughs> they're both okay, and they're both still underneath the uh, hangar. Okay. Which is the Which entire is point. Pretty, pretty cool. Alright, that's fine. So, let's move on. The core that was left in the hangar isn't there. <laughs> oh. So, let's see. Oh, weapons, it. computers, and a Bobby AI. Gravity. Let's have a look. Where are you guys? Down here. Uh, I've got an uh, AI. We found yeah. a bridge. Oh, what, what's this? That's interesting. Is that a drone? It does look yes. like it, doesn't it? It is. It's a looks like a drone. Oh no, it's a, no, it's a turret. It's it's a docked turret. Docked turret. Oh yeah, because yeah. because it, it can't damage the ship, can it? No, it can't. Yeah. But can it see? Yes, it can. Oh, okay, if you I have didn't know it. This, it, this is Gaiusen's attempt to have a uh, turret that can shoot at targets under the ship. But I didn't. Ah, uh, well. Anyway, move on. Moving on. <laughs> So what do we got over here? We got another dock. Can't really see what type of dock it is. That's fine. And then down Which here we've got yeah. the actual computers. So yeah, Bobby, Gravity, uh, BB, Weapons. Where's the core? Up the stairs, all the way at the top. Yep. Right. Let's check it out. So what do we got? He's in the core right now, Chaos. We Thank have uh, 7,400 thrust, 4,500 mass, uh, 123 meters length, 24 meters height, and 93 meters width. Uh, got 1.3 million power total with 433,000 energy per second. Shields, 51,000 recharge. Nearly two thousand per second. Recovery of one. That's good. <clears throat> so that's the vital statistics. What's through here? There's, there's an engine core back here. Oh, there's a way Up out. Space. <laughs> space. Yep. The Ooh. final uh, vast emptiness. Look at the detailing. Detailing's cool. Hey, look, it's like being in the, the movie Star Trek when they all have spacesuits and go outside all the time. Mm -hmm. Spacesuits are sexy. Hey, Borg. Mm -hmm. mm. What's this? It's. It's a warp core. A warp core, yeah. Made out of, made out of uh, yeah, energy. Interesting. Oh, you can go round it this way. Ha ha ha. We like our little tools. Huh. Oh, you can't get down there, though. 
back door. The back door. Don't, don't fall. Don't fall off the back here. Yeah. <laughs> Could use a little smoothing back here. Is that it? I think we've explored the whole ship, you know. That's good. Now we just need to give it ballistics tests. Yeah, somebody jump in the core. <coughs> I'll do that. And I'm going to try and find my way out of this beast. Are there two ways out? What oh, we didn't know we down the side, did we? So, whoa! What the? It's... This... This... Hey guys, it's... It's got a cloak and a jam. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, this let's is going to be fun. Doing. It doesn't last, though. Oh, uh, yeah, it might just be a countermeasure. Right, here we go. Let's see if we can make the jump. Huh? Yes. Okay, I'm pulling, pulling back. Uh, windows, they don't need to be there. Okay, I can see the ship. Do you want to shoot the AMCs quick? Just check that it's working. Cool. And then uh, fire the missiles. Only the only half of them are working, I think. How many missiles does this have? I mean, look. Um, this is, if it's only got three groups, then you're all right. He's got four groups. Yeah, there's some on the right that aren't firing the right side. Well, the one on the right side, if you look, it's got a brighter glow than the other two. So I'm thinking they both fired out of out of this pretty much the same point of exit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, to be honest, we only need to see the AMC, so let's just pull back and get the gel in. Click so, and that's what we do. Yeah, please, go ahead. So, looking at that, we've got six, maybe five or six. Uh, one, one second pulse. One one thousand. Nearly twenty. About 20. Alright, now uh, continuous fire to the core. Let's see how well it chews through. And as it's making its way through, we'll. Uh, it's a pretty take straight a line, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Taking a look at the actual damage. I like the use of the beacons all over the ship to give it a bit of glow on the corners and stuff. Oh, you're nearly there. 77, 185. And boom, he's dead, dead isn't he? <clears throat> okay, good stuff. Right, right. so what we're doing here is we're just looking at the blast pattern. It's made a very straight line, tight comb all the way down to the target. Didn't actually take very long to chew through that one. Going to have a look at the uh, next one click test and then we'll move on to the bobbies. Okay, so now we're going to do the one-click test. Of course, this simulates uh, hull and you know corridors and rooms separated by thin layers of uh, hardened hull, maybe with something else in between. Okay, so normal hull even in between. Let <laughs> Some, it rip. Something else. Yeah, give us a click, mate. Oh, there we go. Right, so let's have a look. You got through first layer, and, and then it's barely made a hole. It hasn't yeah. actually punched through that layer, so yeah. Okay, cool. So today we've got Kale Surveyor as our test pilot. Yo. Meteor is out there somewhere, cloaked up like myself, and we're going to activate the AI on the mind yeah. brain trigger. Here I am. Mark. And three. there we go. So yeah, try not to get shot. Otherwise, you're going to decloak. <laughs> okay. It, let's get it on. I want a good, clean fight. Shields are down. Yeah, I see that. Cockpit is down. The cockpit's down? Yeah, bridge what? is down. It's dead. Oh. Okay. That's fair enough. A poor wee ship. So, Can I have a teleport, um, please? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's just see. Okay, yeah, no damage to this one. Let's just check the damage. I don't to think the... I even broke the shields. No, I don't think you did. Right, I'm just closing on it because it flew off. It kept it kept going. Okay, so we've got some damage to okay. this beautiful ship. Yeah, I've got significant damage to the. 
corridors and the roof of the hull. Yeah, it looks like a shot went straight through there. Oh, oh well. Anyway, that was cool. So, this one's available to download if you want to have a little fly around inside this. It's uh, on his blog, and I will be putting a link in the description. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like or subscribe button, and uh, I will see you in the next video.